Hallo meine lieben Zuschauer herzlich willkommen zu einer Folge zu Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Wenn euch das Video gefällt, dann lasst ein Abo und ein Like da und ich wünsche euch jetzt viel Spaß mit dem Video. Ja moin Leute Every und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einem weiteren Bird von Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Ja, beim letzten Mal hatten wir wieder ein paar Sequenzen. Diese Königin hat uns erklärt, äh, wie wir in den Vortex reinkommen, beziehungsweise hat uns gesagt, dass wir da rein sollen und wusste selber nicht, was sie äh, tun sollen. Aber zum Glück Nopot wusste, wie wir da reinkommen. Und nach der Folge habe ich gemerkt, dass ich äh, offenbar nicht lesen kann. Äh, weil wir sind schon in Kapitel 7. Also, ja. Mein Plan äh, sieht wie folgt aus äh, für äh, Projekt gerade, ne? Da wir ja wirklich im finalen Kapitel sind. Also wenn wir da in den Vortex reinfahren, das ist definitiv Finalgebiet. Definitiv. Ich würde sagen, was das Rumschaum von Quests und so weiter angeht, dass wir es so machen, sobald wir alle Teile zusammengesammelt haben. Ich, äh, ich speichere sogar nochmal, äh, sicherheitshalber auf einem äh, weiteren Spielstand, bevor wir das letzte Teil einsammeln. Dass wir äh, dann wirklich nochmal komplett überall rumlaufen Gucken, ob wir Heldenmissionen irgendwo einsammeln können. Ich gucke, dass ich die Harmoniestufen auf Maximale bringe. Äh, natürlich vorher, bevor ich über, durch die äh, Kolonien laufe, weil manche von denen sind davon ja abhängig. Und dass wir äh, dann wirklich äh, sagen können, ja, hab jetzt alle Questen gemacht. Wir können jetzt auf den Endkampf zusteuern. Das ist so ungefähr mein Plan. Und natürlich nach dem Endkampf äh, kommt natürlich hier... Äh, noch das DLC, was ich äh, schon seit Ewigkeiten habe, aber natürlich noch nicht gespielt habe, weil das Aftergame ist, so gesehen. Ach ja, und wir haben gegen Ende äh, äh, aus äh, diesen äh, Lefnissen äh, ein Mädchen rausgeprügelt. Und jetzt eine neue Heldenmission und sind dabei, den letzten Helden freizuschalten. Und ja, ich packe mir jetzt aus dem Bild und wir gehen ins Krankenhaus mit der. Hier sind nochmal Informationen. Ich habe übrigens schon nachgeguckt, die Informationen, die wir beim letzten Mal noch eingesammelt haben, nachdem wir mit dem Nopon geredet haben. Das ist die Heldenmission zu Gondor. Also ich war einmal ganz kurz an äh, dem Rastplatz, äh, um die Kleidung zu waschen und habe dann einfach nur geguckt, ob das eine Quest ist und da stand Heldenmission dran und da sie ja über Gondor geredet haben, kann es ja nur die zu Gondor sein, um ihre maximalen Fähigkeiten freizuschalten. Ich sehe Kinder, die stellen immer Unfug an. Die müssen in den Club der Schlawiner eintreten. Das sind Kinder. Oh, Julietta. Äh, darfst du jetzt mittlerweile heiraten? Ich glaube an euch. You're here. About the girl we transferred here. She's just woken up. Whoa, really? Yeah. Although, I should say, she's a little... Um... Were there any complications? 
No, nothing like that. Or at least, nothing to complain to you about. You're not making sense, and it's getting me antsy. The doctor said she didn't need any medical attention, and... You know what? Why don't you just talk to her yourselves? Just bear in mind, she's still a patient, so take it easy on her, eh? Seems at least they kept her safe. But now what? Yeah, it ain't like we can just leave her here forever. Let's talk to her first, like he said. We should try to learn more. All right, but she's recently injured. We probably shouldn't all crowd her. You're right. If we're just asking questions, one person should be enough. That sounds like a plan. So who'll go? Surely it's Uni, right? She deals with injured people all the time. And she should be right at home. Oh, yeah? Cheers for volunteering me. I'll go. For you, Senna. Why the sudden impulse? Well, it's probably my fault she's like this. It was really more like an accident, you know? There's no need for you to feel responsible. It's not that exactly. It's more like... If I don't do something, um... I... I'll have a dirty... Con... A con... A con... Science. You've never heard that word out loud, have you? Oh. Well, then we'll leave the girl to you. Is that all right, Senna? Yeah, I'll be fine. Do be careful, though. She might be meek now, but keep in mind she and her mates came after us. We'll be right outside. If anything happens, just shout. I can handle myself, Mimi. But thanks. I will. Okay, then. I'm going in. Hmm. Uh, um, hi! I, I see you've woken up. Hmm. How are you feeling? Any pain? Can confirm faint sensation of pain in cranial region. However, operational efficiency of number seven remains unaffected. What? Uh, uh okay. That's good. Actually, I, um, I'd like to apologize. <laughs> hmm. Before, I didn't realize you were inside that thing, and... Hmm. Um, are you okay? No major issues detected. I, I see. Uh, anyway, if it's all right with you, could you tell me something about yourself? The question lacks specificity. Number seven cannot respond. Oh, I'm really sorry. I, I guess that was a bit wishy-washy, huh? Well, for starters, then, are you a Kavesi soldier, or are you Agnian? Kavis, Agnes. Yeah, that's right. You must know those, right? Affirmative. However, discrepancy was encountered while processing query. Huh? What do you mean? Affiliation of number seven does not match either of two options provided. Doesn't match? Well, then that only leaves... Special Mobile Combat Unit under direct Mobius command, alias Colony Zero. Whoa, you know about Mobius? Affirmative. Then, when you attacked us... Colony Zero soldiers of number seven and below were tasked with eradication of Ouroboros. Whoa, that's not great. So this girl really is our enemy. I have to warn the others. Although, is that really true? She did attack us, so why is she like this now? Um, what you just told me, it sounded really important. Won't you get in trouble for saying it? I was not ordered to silence on the matter. I... I see. Okay. Oh, shoot, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Senna. What's yours? I have no name. 
huh? Number seven does not possess information under the category name. You don't have a name? Wait, so this number seven thing you've been saying all along? An individual identification number assigned to soldiers of Colony Zero. We do not belong to Kevis or Agnes. We are special assets. Publicly, we do not exist. Consequently, records of personal information stored in growth modules are also expunged at the time of birth. That's crazy. Shall I consider the questioning to be over? No, wait. What you just said. You don't think it's strange? Cannot ascertain purpose of question. Requesting additional clarification. I, I mean, for example, that name thing. A colony that calls people by a number, that's so dehumanizing. Don't you feel bad to be called like that? I mean, you're the same as us, after all. Cannot ascertain purpose of question. <sighs> oh. Requesting clarification. Senna, hey, you okay? Did you learn anything? Hang on, love, you don't look so good. What happened, Senna? Mimi, I... I... I don't know what to do. Hey, Senna, everything's fine. Let's go somewhere we can talk. Is that all right? Yeah, sure. Colony Zero? Wow. They did seem like more than regular soldiers, but that's wild. If they're palling around with Mobius, we can't really ignore them, I suppose. We still have very little information. I think a more thorough investigation is in order. Okay, but we're talking about a tiny third termer here. <sighs> Senna, what do you think? Huh? Where do I think about what? You're the one that spoke with her. What's your gut telling you? I just... I just asked questions and she just answered them. But... Even though she attacked us, she doesn't seem hostile or violent. And when I spoke to her, she was literally just answering questions. It didn't feel like a conversation at all. She looks like us, but is actually a whole different kind of being. That's how I felt. I and then I got scared of her, and... Oh, I'm sorry, Senna. Senna, give us your honest opinion. Do you think she's an enemy? I don't really know yet. That's kind of why I... I'd like to try talking to her again, I think. What do you mean? You just said you were scared of her. I am, it's true, but... I want to make sure I got the right idea, and that's stronger than my fear. Not just about if she's an enemy, but also about who she actually is, how she thinks and feels. Uh, I get it. You need a bit more time for that, sure. Right. I also want to say sorry for leaving without saying anything last time. Okay, then. If you're doing a house visit and apologizing at once, how about a little gift to grease the wheels? Oh, Sana, you could bring her your onigiri. Onigiri? It's a portable Agnian snack. Made of packed, boiled mithrice. They're lovely and salty, especially the way Senna makes them. They really hit the spot after a long training session. Huh? You can make food? Oh, of course I can. Onigiri, at least. Oh, wait. But we don't have any mithrice. They should have decent reserves in Colony Lambda. Hey, nice. No, hang on. How would you know that off the top of your head? Commander Izzard likes them. The onigiri. Well, that's just peachy then. Hope he doesn't mind sharing. Thanks, you guys. Ja, dann auch zu Kolonie Lambda mal wieder, ne?
Man, I haven't made onigiri in a minute. Hope I can still shape them, right? Ah, that's nice. Now, let's take them to our patient. Senna, wait. This time around, we'd like to sit in on the conversation, too. Huh? But I thought... No worries. We'll hang back and watch. We're happy to let you do the talking. Uh, uh okay then. If you say so. Hey, sorry to intrude. Can we have a moment? No objections. You wish to resume questioning. No, that's not why I'm here. It's just that last time, I was kind of rude. So, to apologize, I thought I'd visit again and bring you a little something. <gasps> I figured you might be hungry. They're called onigiri? Yes. I'm not very good at this, so they're about the only thing I can make. Yes. But I can guarantee they're tasty. And actually, Mimi says so too. Uh, Mimi, I, I mean Mio, she's... Yes. Oh, sorry, my bad. But please, feel free to eat. I will eat. How about it then? Cannot ascertain purpose of question. Are they tasty? Did I make them right? With regard to first question, number seven, comforter, tasty to be accurate, assessment. Oh, r really? That's good to hear. In regard to second, application of manual pressure resulted in compaction and prior cohesion, also showing excess salt level. Oh. Uh, no, wait, that's the best part. Isn't it nice and chewy? <laughs> Affirmative. Huh? Number seven has not taken sustenance in this form before. Currently considering that others of Colony Zero may also enjoy the experience. Oh, you think so? Particularly number nine seem to be growing disaffected with the rations being distributed. And number three, whose calorie intake exceeds the baseline, may find these more sating. As a precaution, salt levels may have to be marginally adjusted, pursuant to guidance from number six. Huh. Hmm. Is there a problem? No, no, it's nothing. Oh, but if it's okay with you, could I ask you to tell me more? Acknowledged. Continuing explanation. So, were the onigiri tasty? You already have a sufficient reply to this question. Have you come to like the onigiri I made? Affirmative. Well, that's good then. I'll make them for you again sometime. Yes. Well, she eats like normal. And she can handle small talk. Yeah, there's nothing suspicious about her. Except she talks funny. But whatever. Let's let Santa keep her talking for a bit longer. Hey, you said you didn't have a name. Recollection of making such a statement exists. Well, then, what about Sigiri? Hmm. Uh, perhaps this is some sort of code or cipher. No, I'm just... I was asking what you thought about Sigiri for a name. Cannot follow logic behind query. Requesting more rational explanation. You're using difficult words again. I, I just didn't want to keep only calling you, you. The designation number seven is... Right. I, I just took the se part from seven and, and tacked on the giri from onigiri. Sagiri. Failure to comprehend basis for utilizing this nomenclature. Well, it's because... You said you liked onigiri just then. <sighs> whoa, 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 whoa. Senna, 
Don't you think you're taking it a bit far? Yeah, love. Did you lose your brain at the gym or something? I'm sorry, Senna. I don't think I see what you're after here. Whoa, when did everyone get so mean? I think it's a great name, Sagiri. Y yeah, I think so too, actually. It seems really, uh, friendly, somehow. <laughs> it's not really like you to come out with something like this, Senna. R really? Well, maybe so. But Mimi, I don't think it's right to call a person by a number. Hmm. Hey, I'm sorry. I let my mouth run away from me. I understand if you felt hurt by it. Regulations contain no special provisions on restricting designation. Huh? Number 7 has no authority based on which to reject proposed designations, whatever they may be. Does that mean we can call you Sagiri and you won't mind? Affirmative. Well, there you have it then. Affirmative. <laughs> Nicely done, Senna. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> the girl might still be a total mystery. But really, it wouldn't have been right to call her number seven. <gasps> what happened? A coded transmission from Colony Zero. The Mobius Consul F is requesting parlay with Ouroboros. The Mobius is requesting what? Number seven will use own iris as relay to forward the transmission to you. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, my young Ouroboros friends. I am F, and before we go further, I would like to sincerely apologize for the discourtesy of this method of introduction. Ugh. What a shameless slug. He thinks we'll forget he tried to kill us. You say you want to parley. How do you imagine that will go at this point? I'm certain you will feel guarded, and rightly so. And yet with that acknowledged, I would like to offer an opening of negotiations with you. Negotiations? Should you accept my invitation, I will rescind the extermination order on you, Ouroboros. Colony Zero will henceforth no longer concern itself with your comings and goings. Oh, that'd be swell! If we were stupid enough to trust your word. And your demands? The bodily return of number seven. Huh? And that's it? That's all it would take for you to never fight with us again? Yes, you have my guarantee, and that of the whole of Colony Zero. Are you joking? You're Mobius. You'd throw away one or two soldiers without batting an eye. Certainly some consuls do display such callousness, a deplorable state of affairs. But not I. I hold the light of life possessed by Colony Zero to be of the utmost importance. Naturally, that includes number seven. That is precisely why I have reached out to you, nominally my enemies even with the concomitant difficulties acknowledged. Are you telling the truth? Come on, Senna, don't fall for it. Can you give us a guarantee that you aren't lying to us right now? Of course, is what I'd love to say, but naturally, simple words are never enough to engender trust, I know. I've sent the current coordinates of Colony Zero to number seven. We shall remain here. Should you find yourselves receptive to my offer, do please pay us a visit and bring number seven with you. So you think giving us your location will make us trust you? How do we know this isn't a trap? In such a circumstance, you would possess a handy hostage in number seven. I trust I needn't say more. Ugh, has this guy heard the way he sounds? Of course, that is not what any of us really want. My desire is to see number seven safely return to me. That is all. Number seven? Yes? I am tasking you with guiding them to Colony Zero. Follow their command until you return. Compliance. And 
Number seven? Yes? We've all been worried about you. Hmm. That will be all. I will eagerly anticipate the day when we meet in more favorable circumstances. By the Consul's authority, Number 7 is hereby assigned to the Ouroboros' command as an exceptional measure for the duration. Pending your decision on the outcome of the proposed exchange, I await your command to depart. Well, this was... unexpected. Sigiri, what do we do with you? Ganz ehrlich, der will uns doch bescheißen. Ganz bestimmt. Es ist übrigens genial, dass ich hier einfach schon zum zweiten Mal äh, jetzt einfach in zur Folie stehe und einfach nur A drücken soll. Weißt du was? Den Befehl zur Abreise geben wir beim nächsten Mal. Weil ich kann mir vorstellen, dass die Quest noch ein bisschen äh, länger geht. Tyron und Lance haben gerade Probleme, wo sie hin wollen. Und nur auch. Ja. Hatten doch hier auf jeden Fall ein paar interessante Gespräche. Ich habe das Gefühl, dass die echt alle Roboter sind. Zumindest äh, nehmen die sich halt so. Es ist halt wirklich so eine <lacht> Computersprache, die die sprechen. Zumindest die Art und Weise. Ja, das finden wir äh, beim nächsten Mal ja raus. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet alle Spaß beim Zusehen. Wenn ja, ihr wisst, was ihr zu tun habt. Ein Abo da lassen, ein Like. Und wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Ciao, Leute. Bis dann.